But we're gonna go straight to the point. There's not going to be any head bobbing or listening to music or anything like that. Today, we're going to talk about what other YouTubers are not daring to talk about. Three, two, one, let's go. Welcome to Let's Just Tara. This is Melissa, Tara's mom. Today, we're going to be reacting to ICP from Vanilla Ice, Greatness, and Violent J. Disclaimer, this video is only for entertainment purposes only. Again, it's for entertainment purposes only. There's no professional advice here. Obviously, because I'm not a professional in the world or industry of music. But will I be honest? Yeah. I am really the last one who should criticize anything because I am not a professional at editing. I am not a professional YouTuber, you know. Um, right now, I'm just uploading videos and, you, you know, maybe just one day I'll get monetized. But what I will bring up here is going to always be genuine from my heart. So I will make sure that I am honest about my reviews and reactions. Also, if you take a minute, go ahead and check out my description. You're going to find a link to the playlist for all my Vanilla Ice reactions. I also have a playlist for Melanie Martinez reactions. In case you're also a fan of Melanie Martinez, you can find a whole bunch of videos there. Just check it out in the description below. So first off, we're going to start with the thumbnail. I'm going to have my screen over here so I can give you guys a description of what I see. Um, the thumbnail is okay, but I would have done something a little bit different. I would have made it less poster-like and more of what is happening inside the video. Like, for example, uh, I know a lot of YouTubers now say, oh, no, it's no good to take screenshots of what you're doing. But people want to know what they're going to be seeing also in the video. So if it was me, I would have chosen uh, a scene, an interesting scene from the video, and just, you know, screenshotting it, editing it really nicely and just putting it on there you know with all the additional words and letters you know we see the names violent j vanilla ice greatness icp official music video i feel like that's too many words for one thumbnail that's something that i do all the time sometimes i put way too many words but at that level at that professional level um i would expect not to see so many words and like just everybody taking up the whole entire space um, from the thumbnail, I would have changed that part a little bit. And like I mentioned before, I would have just um, picked out a scene and edited it out a little bit. And put there, maybe just um, put the name of the, of the song or just not put anything at all. Um, to make it look like, you know, a really nice, you know, professional music video. Okay. Next, I just found it really funny because I read some of the comments in <laughs> both of Vanilla Ice and Greatness page, but mostly in Vanilla Ice, there's a lot of, I'm going to say older ladies. There's also some men too, well, according to what I could see from the profiles, um, that were feeling disappointed because they used um, this or what have you you know models in a way that it would denigrate women according to them and that supposedly well to vanilla eyes you know that would be an embarrassment blah 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 this is gonna take a while i guess and i'm just gonna say that it was probably greatness idea because he seems to be the youngest guy <laughs> in the group so he's probably grabbing this concept from the 2000s you know 2010s you know but i mean honestly the girls didn't bother me at all i mean guys like girls you know it will just bother the vanilla ice generation basically you know uh, because obviously you know when vanilla ice you know put his songs out that is not exactly what he portrays so people are not used to that what i would have done differently though is um i would have put the models in different outfits and i wouldn't have necessarily had them bend over and shoulder things and be shaking all the time i would have put different outfits 
on them something really nice you know and still um showing you know because they they look good and everything but something that will cover a little bit more maybe something made out of chiffon um or maybe um lace and just like you know a little bit transparent or whatever just a little bit more um classy in that aspect they are very beautiful so i would never say don't use those models okay in which way they could have performed in the music video okay for example i would have um put them out um like for example i would have set up an area in for example miami beach right i could have parked the car close to south beach or whatever and you know film some some scenes while the girls are, are inside the car while they're out maybe sitting on the hood and modeling and you know just taking some shots from like top to bottom wearing nice shoes and this and that and just less of like the shaking and all that stuff that's just made with my crazy ideas as far as the ninja turtles go i would have used a different place or set up maybe like interiors instead of outdoors maybe something showing like how we used to be like in the movies when they in the movie when they used to meet and all that stuff um and just put vanilla ice you know because i believe that it only exclusively belongs to vanilla ice and he deserves to just be the one to get that credit and not just be everybody just squeezing just the whole little space dancing and everything you know i wouldn't have mixed up all that the diamonds are the jewels um flying in the video the dollar bills flying around and the excess use of visual effects when it comes to transitions um that could have been just reduced a tiny little bit see those uh, transitions and visual effects uh, please don't don't get mad at me but they look like the ones that i use and i am just one i am just one person editing my own you know beginner youtube channel you know that's the kind of transitions <laughs> that i would put in my videos you know we're using CapCut. I would have taken away all that because there is too much of that, but that is me. The lens and the filters used, and I am not a professional in this field, but I would have used a more cinematic lens or filter because this kind of video looks like, to me, my opinion with all respect it almost looks like you know the same kind of um quality that beginning rappers would use just to get known and vanilla ice is a legend okay vanilla ice you know he deserves the best of the best so i think production can do a little bit better when it comes to that cinematic cinematic i would love to see that it's so catching it's so mesmerizing i would have also done uh just at least one quick change of clothing and i would have had um, vanilla eyes wear something a little bit lighter around construction equipment and yes i would have used construction scenes for sure even if i would have added miami beach like maybe something maybe used a construction site in miami for example asking permission for that you know of course i would have definitely had him wear something lighter if he doesn't feel comfortable going shirtless <laughs> you know that he could wear you know like a tank top or something like that something that we you know would show him you know like um you know, kind of like, like if he was at work or just, you know, just coming out of work, you know, <laughs> definitely showing you those arm tattoos. Okay. Um, as far as greatness goes, I would have made everything possible to have had a close up of greatness eyes. Why? Because he's got amazing flowers and blue eyes. And I know this because I've only I mean, I, 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 I saw him in person at the Bronx house, didn't get too close, you know, maybe like 10 feet away from him. But I could, I mean, his eyes, 
were like glowing, glowing from that distance. And it wasn't even a sunny day. And so I have seen a couple of his Instagram videos where he shows the sun, you know, the sunlight hitting his, his eyes. And I mean, it's just striking. Amazing. I would have shown a little bit of that too. As far as Violent J goes, I don't really know much about him. But as far as the video goes, I would have not done too much of the touchy, getting handsy kind of thing. I would have, for example, I would have had them stand behind the girls and just the girls, let's say, for example, would be like, you know, standing like not facing each other, you know, but just like that and just like doing a little movement or whatever. Um, and him just standing behind and just like staring at them like, oh, look at who I got in front of me, you know, all that stuff. But I wouldn't have gotten like so handsy. I would have shot that scene in front of a house. I would have shot that scene right at the beach, Miami Beach. I would have just had the girls, you know, wearing something, you know, like, like I mentioned this before, using chiffon, letting the wind blow, you know, in front of the waves. And maybe, you know, during that scene, I would have used like a black and white filter with the splash color effect. So just maybe like, their outfits would have been, you know, in color and the rest of them black and white. And then just do a quick transition, very slow transition so that everything will look back in color again. So that you will show off the beauty of the blue ocean. But I'm going to highlight this again. Cinematic, 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 cinematic can make such a huge difference. I'm not going to keep you here for any longer, but I will actually tell you thank you so much for hanging out with me if you found this video entertaining or valuable don't hesitate to hit that like hit subscribe to see more videos i hope you enjoyed this you have a wonderful day